All right, hey there, everybody. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Orm here. My goal is to keep you up to date on what's happening with the history fair and let you know what we're working on. Um, I've given this graphic organizer to all the students in my classes, um, or all the groups in my classes, just to kind of start narrowing down their topic and figure out what it is that they're going to create their project on. So this year's theme is Frontiers in History. Uh, people, places, and ideas, okay? Uh, this is a pretty broad theme that talks about things that may be cutting edge, something that changed the outcome of uh, future events. It could be people that have done something that had never been done before, just kind of pushing the boundaries. We can look at it literally or we can look at it figuratively. Uh, we've gone over some of this stuff in class and you can check kids' Google Classroom to get an idea of what uh, that might be, okay? Um, the first thing that the kids want to do is they want to brainstorm ideas. Any and all ideas are welcome here. Okay, so with their groups, they should be talking about things that interest them, things that they're curious about. Um, they write down those things, and we essentially uh, have a place that we can now start focusing in on the one topic that we might take a look at. So that brings us to the broad topic. And what we want to do is we want to use one of the ideas from our brainstorming session, all right? We want that to connect with the theme. So that's how we can break it down, is that it connects, the, one of those ideas best fits the theme of frontiers in history, uh, and that gives us a good idea of uh, where we can kind of use this as a foundational piece to start moving forward. This is the point in time where students would want to start doing some a little bit of research, right? So this would be overview research, right? This is where you would just do some Google searches about the larger topic. And then you use that research, right, to start narrowing down to something more specific within that topic. Now, with that said, okay, what we want to do is we want to think about, right, maybe a particular individual within that broader topic or an event within that broader topic or some example of something that happened, maybe a law, uh, it could be an innovation, something along those lines. So you see it starts to narrow down with our broad theme. Say it was World War II. We might think about a particular battle, a particular person, something that took place that'll help narrow that topic down. Because when you have a broad topic, the research can really be overwhelming. Now, once they've come up with a narrow topic within that broad topic, right, that's when we start getting to the research questions, right? The who, the what, the where, the when, the why, and sometimes we say the how, all right? When you can start answering some of these questions related to that narrow topic, right, and continue to connect those to frontiers in history, right, that's gonna really give us some good research. Research is driven by good questions. One question should lead to another question, and that's really gonna show success where the kids can find that good information to include in their project. Now, when we get to the thesis statement, this is the claim that all the research is going to be focused on. So what essentially we're doing is we're gathering evidence that really is that historical argument that you're going to present in your project. So once a student has created a thesis, we've now made a claim, now the research is designed to focus in on proving that claim, okay? So all the research that we do are going to be put together in a particular project that they're going to use to focus on throughout this. This is what we're working on throughout the week. I would really, really, really encourage you to have some of these conversations with your students uh, because that's going to help them. We are in a time crunch, so that means students will be needing to work on this outside of class when it's available. Uh, so if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, I appreciate your uh, uh, your efforts in helping with this project. And again, let me know if there's any questions that you have. All right. Have a great day.